Constantine looked up into the sky. He saw a cross of light that seemed to burn itself into the heavens, and above it the words, In hoc signo vinces, by this sign you will conquer. He had crosses painted on the shields of his troops. The next day, at the Battle of the Milvian Bridge, he smashed the armies of his rival, Maxentius. No sooner was Constantine installed as emperor than he repealed many of Diocletian's reforms, including his ban on Christianity. But he went even further, declaring himself a Christian. Romans were stunned. Most thought Christianity was just another weird Eastern sect. Suddenly, their new emperor had declared himself a cult member. They thought they had another lunatic on their hands. They didn't. Constantine cleverly saw how Christianity could unify an empire coming apart at the seams. Unlike Rome's pagan religion, it preached discipline, obedience, and only one God. Under Constantine, Roman unity was reborn, but there wasn't much that was Roman about it. Constantine grew up in the Balkans in Eastern Europe and the imperial city of Trier, Germany. He had no liking for Rome and recognized it had become strategically irrelevant. All the important conflicts in the empire were now along the frontiers to the east and north. So he moved the empire's capital to the ancient city of Byzantium and renamed it after himself, Constantinople. The foundation of Constantinople is, I think, one of the most important moments in the history of the Roman Empire. It's the foundation of New Rome, to use Constantine's name for the city. It marks a political, a cultural, and an economic shift from Italy to the Balkans. The Roman Empire now will be centered not in the West, but in the East. In this new Christian Rome, suffering was the mark of holiness. Educated Romans gave up comfortable lives to go and live in the desert. Despite the rigors of Christianity, as the fourth century progressed, Romans flocked to it. Women, long oppressed by patriarchal Rome, found respect and recognition. To everybody, men and women, rich and poor, Roman and non-Roman, Christianity offered a refuge from the chronic uncertainties of the era. 